Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Ada Lasfa. My channel is called No Gratification, where I am on a forever, never ending, forever quest of trying to minimize the pleasures in my life so I can have more control over myself and my destiny and not be a slave to those silly pleasures. Those silly, fun, good feeling pleasures that are good feelings. Anyway, so I'm going to be going through my uh, Medium membership, and uh, <laughs> this article interested me. It's popular on Medium, so, you know, it's got a lot of claps of the Medium claps. Not the disease clap, the some uh, virtual clapping. And it's, it's called, if a woman refers to you by this term, you, sir, are in a bad place. Not the, she's not sir, she's not referring you to a sir, but this woman has used the word sir, but you're not a sir, you're something else. So, no one wants to date a fuckboy. Is this you? I love how she didn't even say, is this you? She just said, this you? Huh? This you? <laughs> so, the term fuckboy, depending on how very online you are has a multitude of meanings none of which has a pon a positive connotation well you would assume assume so you know you don't i wouldn't if someone said fuck boy you wouldn't assume it's a positive thing it has a, a derogatory word at the front of boy it is an equal opportunity insult, a condemnation. If a romantic partner has ever referred to you as such, it's time to do some reflecting and get your affairs in order and make the appropriate changes. And like the word hipster, if you swear you're not a fuckboy when someone's calling you out, you probably are one. Don't fight it. Just be better. <laughs> I love this woman. <laughs> Alicia. Oh, uh, she is, uh, she, she writes in, like, an African-American way. Mm-hmm, don't fight. Just be better. Mm-hmm, that's you. Mm-hmm, yeah. So what is a fuckboy? For the purpose of this article, it's a person who doesn't have enough respect for women to earn their time, attention, or energy. Okay, well, I think this guy has somehow gotten the energy and time and attention. If he's doing some fucking. Like he can't be a fuckboy if he hasn't earned some energy from a woman. How you work that one out? But he never stops trying. He never stops making excuses. Bam, 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 bam. I only got one shot. Can't let it go. Opportunity comes in a lifetime. Gotta be a fuckboy. <laughs> he got no self-awareness or accountability. So he sees zero need for even the slightest bit of growth. And as such, his relationships tend to e either fizzle or, or or crash and burn. A fuckboy gets dismissed with an eye roll. Mm-hmm, Shaniqua. Mm, ah, mm, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is gonna be my favorite puppy. He never gets to meet the parents. Yeah, that's the best part of a relationship. Meeting the parents. Are you a fuck boy or a meeting the parents boy? <laughs> I just want to use her to meet her parents and then get the hell away. Or even close friends. He's only interested in what you can provide in a single moment. Oh, I wonder what that moment is. Hmm. You've heard the term and now you've read the explanation. But do you know how to identify one in the wild? Is your boy, or more importantly, is it you? Huh? It's the girl as well. Can a girl be a fuck boy? Maybe it's the girl. Oh, okay, so it's the girl. She's writing this to the girl and asking if her boy is a fuck boy. Or maybe the boy's reading it and he's like, Am I a fuck boy? Peep the fall. Wait a minute. If a, if a fuck boy has no self awareness, why would he be on this article reading this? He wouldn't be on here. If you see yourself, it might be time for some self-improvement. Seriously. The fake deep fuckboy. He smells like Dr. Broner's peppermint. Okay, I'm not going to read all this. What to do. Blah, blah, blah. 
the joke, the one who jokes a lot, okay, the joke, the broke fuck boy has no money, mm-hmm, yep, okay, the boomerang, alright, I guess he comes back and forth, right, because, uh, yeah, if someone wants more than just sex, he pretends he does, his whole shtick is that he wants to settle down, but he just hasn't found the right person yet, mm-hmm, alright. Uh, can he change? No. Can he change? Absolutely. All it takes some education. The book. Oh, I can't change someone. That's retarded. This whole article is retarded. This whole article is just, again, what's happened here <laughs> is <sighs> there's a majority or there's a, there's a good amount of men out there in the world who are addicted to pleasures. I used to be addicted to pleasures when I was young. I liked pleasure. Eating ice cream, eating pizza, uh, video games, other things. Yeah, not just men, women. They, we like pleasure. Our brain gets a dopamine hit and it's like, hmm, that felt good. I forgot all my problems in my life. I want more of that. And then what happens is you chase those things. And what happens is poor woman, she probably didn't have a father growing up. Something happened in her childhood. She didn't have any wisdom in her life. So she didn't understand that her body gave a physical pleasure to a man. Like a, like a gratification. Like quite a high gratification. She understands now. She understands now that she can provide that pleasure. That moment. But before she didn't know. She had no value. She had no awareness of her of her object value, of her physical value. So she went out into the dating world, naive, and you know, she probably wore a mini skirt or something, looked sexy so she could feel sexy and empowered. And then someone uh, secretly got a boner and used her body for sex, for sexual gratification. And now she's angry. She's like, oh, you used me. I didn't know. Oh, this is your fault. This is you, a uh, fuckboy, your fault. Oh, mm, cynique. But, you know, this woman, she lacks the self-awareness to realize that uh, she didn't have to, she didn't, uh, she was naive. Uh, like a lot of these women on the street today shouldn't be revealing your skin. You shouldn't be wearing minimal clothing. Because who are you going to attract? Who are you going to attract? You're selling that thing from the beginning. Who do you think's buying? Uh, a fuckboy. You're the one selling it, and then he buys it, and then you're angry at the buyer? It's like if I was selling a fucking cheeseburger, and then someone, and then I attracted a fat fuck. And I'm like, why am I just getting fat people come up to me taking my cheeseburger? Oh, are you a fat fuck trying to eat my cheeseburger? This is you, you need to change. Yeah, he needs to change. He needs to be stop being addicted to sexual gratification. And you, a young lady, need to stop being an attention hoe and selling that cheeseburger and uh, put a curtain over your head. That way you can meet someone who has uh, the same values. Like you're not addicted to ego gratification from getting attention from your body. You're going to attract a man who's not addicted to sexual gratification. And that's how it works. The end. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Ah, the society is so frustrating. But I do enjoy reading these articles. And I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.